Hey, what up, everyone? Hey, check it out. Check it out. It's your boy, G. Lou from the G. Lou Show. Um, I'm going to just get right into it. I'm making this video right quick. Making a new video, like the homie Dubs say, right? Shout out to my boy Dubs. Um, it's a new video. I'm I'm just in the studio because I'm about to do this podcast with the homie uh, Big Paul from LA Times and my boy Incredible Javier. So I got a few minutes, right? So I just want to go live right quick because I actually... It's some shit I wanted to speak about last night. You know what I'm saying? You know we did our show last night, the podcast, uh, me and the homie Big D keeping it real. Uh, let's talk about it, which we do every Monday night, right? And uh, last night, um, it was a cool show, but as everyone knows, we had some audio issues. My homeboy Big D was echoing real bad. So that kind of kind of threw the show off just a little bit. You know what I mean? Where shit got thrown off because I was going to speak. We spoke about it, but I was going to talk some more about this shit going on right now. As everyone knows... America Cholo, uh, Tiger, uh, Adam 22, and just a little bit of tension period with this black and brown thing when it deals with the politics going on in Southern California, really. Not nowhere else. Um, but um, this is what's going on. I meant to speak on it because really I don't never really speak on none of that shit. You know what I mean? Politics or nothing, period. That ain't my business. That's just my thing. You know, I'm getting on go gossip and TMZ about shit and everyone that knows my platform know I, don't, I just don't do that even though i know sometimes what people want to hear and that's gonna give me the numbers and all that but i just don't do that on me because i'm just i'm just i don't know i'm just built different on me i'm not gonna go that route just for some clout and all this and i understand you know teach his own right but i'm speaking on it now because people already been asking me because if you know my platform bro you already know again why i don't speak on it because guess what i'm a black man as you can see first and foremost but there ain't really no color lines with me. I, and I got family on me, brown, because anyone knows my background, you know how I grew up. You know what I mean? Raised in uh, Southern California, LA. But, um, you know, I, I grew up in the SGV mainly a lot outside in, in LA, but mainly in the SGV, first to 12th grade on me, and um, all around Mexican. So, you know, that's that's my family. My neighborhood is that. People, if you know me, you know. So. Um, that's why I don't speak on shit and get caught up in all that and never try to be, you know what I'm saying? Um, but this right here, people want my take on it. And, um, I want to speak on it because first this t whole tiger thing, where this shit started from, right? Um, oh, let me, you know, talking about the homie Gil, American Cholo, sorry, American Cholo, the homie Gil, uh, tiger, because this all stemmed from the whole tiger video. About a month ago, Tiger dropped his video, uh, Acaramba, and um, a lot of people were up in arms. A lot of the brown um, community, um, mainly in Southern California, were pretty pissed off about that. People been talking about it. I'm in the YouTube world, podcast, all that, so I got a lot of homies, and they all been, everyone been talking, especially on all the brown podcasts and networks, they definitely been talking about this video for a minute, and were real unhappy, and just been going up, going up. It's disrespectful. And me personally, I just was hearing the talk, but me personally, people would ask me or not ask me, but I just never spoke on it. Really why I never spoke on it, because I had personally never seen the video. I had to tell the homie that. I only recently seen that video this past weekend, and that's only because my brother CeeLo sent me the video. He actually was texting me like, hey, hey, bro, you been hearing about Tiger? They hot at him and the Mexican mad. And boom, boom. I'm like, man, I've been hearing about that for, for weeks, if not a month, but weeks. You know what I mean? And, and and that main person pushing the forefront for that was American Cholo. So I'm getting back to that to get to get to this to speak on the homie Gil. American Cholo, I got respect for what you've been doing. A lot of people may, may agree, may not. I don't know. It's not about me taking no sides and none of that because I'm always the one. I always spoke up that I, I never agreed with everything that Cholo does, Gil, because he is quite controversial. But um, with this right here, man, much respect to the homie for pushing his push um how we did it you know what i mean a lot of people were upset and speaking but gil took the forefront and used this platform to take that forefront and it got him to power 106 to get a sit down with tiger you know who i mean come on man this is a, a guy who started his platform he's not no entertainer not no rapper none of that gil was just a dude that had his podcast and i remember when um the crazy part is i remember when gil started his podcast like a few years uh, some years ago you know what i mean because we were familiar um had met personally, but we were familiar through this kind of YouTube uh, space because um, earlier, some years ago, I did an interview um, 
I had a dude on my show, um, Neil Desai, when people may know from the YouTube, kind of controversial. He was one of the first black Sureño dudes to kind of go viral. You know, had his YouTube page, was kicking up a lot of dust and talking a lot of stuff. So he went viral some years ago. And um, I had him on my show. And um, and him and Gil later had some issues and problems because I think their neighborhoods are not far from one another. And, you know, they had some back and forth. And um, I had him on my show. So I don't think Gil liked that too much at the time. And I just heard him speaking on it on numerous occasions to other people. So we've been aware of each other. I only say that to say I'm one that a lot of times over the years, I I've always been tuned to Gil's show um, and not agree with everything he's done. You know, I mean, I I'll be the first to say that. But I've always respected Gil because I, I, I respect a man who stands on what he believes in. And Gil is one of the type of person, whether you like it or not, He's going to still stand on what he stands on. He's going to be a little controversial at times, and people are not going to agree. Uh, but you got to respect the guy. But I say that to say this. I respect what he's doing right now and this push that he pushed, homie, to wind up on Power 106 after pushing all this shit. Everyone been talking about it. He took the forefront, pushed it, got him on Power 106 for a sit-down with Tiger personally. And the L.A. Leakers got Tiger to apologize and take the video down. Even though some say he didn't, I don't know. That's me to hit on there but took the video down. And I say all that to say, again, a lot of people wonder how blacks feel because all the Hispanics were mad. Uh, 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 brown, my, my Rasa people were mad in, in LA, you know, um, which they had a right to be. But I don't think a lot of, what they were wondering maybe why the, why did the blacks feel? Why are they not speaking up? But first, I think because the majority of the blacks, and then I'm gonna speak for myself, don't fuck with Tiger. I'm gonna keep that shit 100, not no street people. Nobody fuck with Tiger. Like Tiger's a mainstream pop guy. So even him being so disconnected from the streets probably did not know that he made that people were offended because he's looking globally. He's going to go do a show in Spain somewhere where the Latins over there are probably jamming to that song. You know what I mean? Opposed to people in LA where it hits different. So he probably wasn't aware because I don't think he meant to intentionally disrespect people but he had to get brought back down to earth in reality especially in your backyard you from la bro so the people had to let him know and i think the people spoke and i think that's fucking incredible because that's what it takes that's what the blacks did like when we had a so-called black black lives matter and blm it was turned out to be some bullshit because the leaders what you know that's neither here nor there but um to, to come out like that that's what's needed and i gotta give a shout out to the homeboy bozo who's right there with uh, America. So I really got a lot of respect for Bozo, for real. I've been in contact with the homie, and um, he said he got me, so hopefully he'll be on on, the sh on my show soon because he said he got me, whatever. But um, I got a lot of respect for Bozo because Bozo really bringing back the G shit that's needed, homie. You know what I'm saying? Like, he going up to, he's telling them people, even Tiger, homie, like, yeah, Gil's saying it politely, demanding, but he coming in on the street shit like, nah, you ain't getting no passes, you gonna be held accountable. And a lot of people may take it the wrong way, but nah, he's coming in with, with, with rules and regulations and some G shit, what's needed, homie. I think that's what's lost right now, and that's why the game is so fucked up, especially in L.A., you know what I mean? Because everyone that came to L.A. and sucked it dry. The whole culture, everyone from every other city and state, country that came to L.A. and sucked it dry because that why everyone want to be like LA and I ain't saying that in no fucking bragging way or none of that, but I'm just, just real. When it come down to this gangster shit, this G shit, SA, hood, crib, blood, you know what I mean? All of that, which got the world going crazy, is from LA, bro. And these youngsters don't realize LA runs the culture, but they steady trying to be like somebody else because they don't know no better. And they going by what's popular and, and, and what's so-called popular, and that's all the other shit, you know what I mean? The trap music and all that. So these youngsters kind of don't know no better. But uh, what Bozo was doing is bringing back that G shit, what's needed. That's all that shit they was mad with Suge about. And I understand Suge fucked the game up a lot because he used the power, you know, used it wrong. But uh, he had structure and he had people, that's when shit was in order. And it was real riders outside ready to handle shit and people knew they weren't gonna come with the bullshit. And that's what's needed right now. You know what I mean? So Bozo was coming with that. So I respect that fully. They showed up to no jumper because fast forward, what I was getting to while I'm rambling, Gil made a power move, homie. Got his shit to where he made it to Power 106 to have a sit down with Tiger and he's leading the front. American Cholo. This guy with just a small platform he started on YouTube and now he's American Cholo. He's leading the forefront to sit down with Tiger, make him apologize, not make him, had him apologize, take the video down. Milestone, right? Milestone. 
not only 24 hours later, Big Gil, America Cholo was bombarded with the smear campaign. And I'm sure he has to realize very quickly that you are in a different game now, homie. Heavy is the heavy is the head that wears the crown. You know what I mean? So, and I told him this about a week ago, man. Many are, uh, uh, many are called, only a few are chosen, bro. So if you're one of the chosen, not only with the good, it's the bad is coming too. So not only 24 hours after this milestone he reached while having to sit down, have his name in Rolling Stone, homie made Rolling Stone magazine, American Cholo, TMZ. You know, and I'm seeing numerous other people are lined up to interview him now and all of this other shit. You know what I mean? Not only 24 hours later, he gets hit with the bomb, bro. Now he's a racist because someone doctored up some footage of his ass where he's he talking racial and nigger and coons and black coons and all of this stuff, right? So automatically that goes viral. And who put it up? Who? I mean, a lot of people put it up, but one of the biggest platforms to put it up and post it was Adam22, No Jumper. So that goes viral, and now you have everyone up in arms the same way he was up in arms about Tiger. They up in arms with him, especially after you just made this campaign that a lot of people probably did not like. Brought it to the forefront, and now you got people ready to ready to get at you, homie. How you gonna push this campaign? And now we wake up and see you on here talking about nigger this, and, and oh, they couldn't wait. But if you look under further review at that tape and me, I think it was a lot of people, and I want to get to this too. Because another thing I want to get to is YouTube with people who have voices and platforms. That's why I said at the beginning of this video, if you know me and my platform, I don't speak on a lot of things. I don't talk about other people, other platforms, and other dudes and their business if it's not mine. Because this is what happens, you know what I mean, when you start putting that stuff out there. You got a lot of people that want input and want to hate. And I know it's for the views. A lot of people want to hear that shit, right? But uh, that's not a game to play, homie. You know what I mean? I never do it because it gets messy, bro. So again, as um, soon as you kick this campaign off in, in positivity, there's people that want to down you now and smear you and cancel you. And it almost happened because guess what? That video comes out. You got a lot of people who never knew Gil, heard of him until this thing he's pushing, which looks from the outside looking in or from a hater or another person that don't like you. It's like you pushing a campaign and now you're disturbing the brown and black unity. You know what I mean? That's not about Tiger. It's about, oh, you black dude. Or it's about people thinking you crying that the brown ain't getting respect. Whatever the case. So they're ready. So come to find out, he has had a long-standing thing going on with the Tariq Nasheed, who's another popular YouTuber, podcaster, whatever he is. I never care for him either because I don't care for the bullshit. But come to find out, this is they had some things going on, and he's maybe the person that put this video out. And as you can see, even me... Upon seeing the video, I was like, wow. But I immediately knew it was something fishy about the video. So upon further review, it's been doctored up. They took his words, mixed them up, slandered them, and put it. And now it's all over the world that you're a racist. So um, what does Gil do? He could have tucked his tail. He could have said, shit, man, it's all bad, and let them cancel him. No, he didn't do that. He got up. And this, again, while I respect the homie, and even while I'm speaking on this, Gil got up, homie, like a G. Laced up his motherfucking boots, pulled his dickies or his Ben Davis back out the closet and creased them up and said, you know what? Fuck this shit. And Adam 22, you the one behind this, homie? He got with the homies. Shout out to Bozo again, was right there. They go up to No Jumper right in Hollywood and build Gill's backyard, too. That's another thing. Gill's from Hollywood, Burbank. Pulled up 100, however many deep, you know what I mean? And, and demanded they should respect. They sit down and interview and of course, Adam wasn't there. Of course, of course. But they went in there and stormed the building, made their presence known, and got an interview. And they got put out today, solid interview, demanding their respect. Shout out to AD, who was there, and the little uh, homie, I forget his name, but the other little host, the little um, the other Hispanic homie. And they had a solid interview, got their point across. Bozo went in there, represented, demanded his shit. And uh, shout out again, I just had to put this out because I had to give respect where it's due. A lot of people would agree, disagree with American Cholo, agree, disagree with the situation. You don't have people out there to say this, say that, say that. But upon all the facts and everything on the table, you got to give homeboy his respect. So that's what I'm doing. Shout out to Gil American Cholo. Uh, I respect that. Shout out to Bozo for sure. I, I really respect Bozo. And again, to the YouTubers out there, we got to be careful with our voice again because words 
and all these people that's another thing too like i said man shout out to the people responsible and the people who's been kind of doing this for a minute so know to get down and know how to come on their platforms and what to say and not to say the kev max and you know um american cholos and la times and um people that's had a platform uh skip my boy skip um try, i can't think of everyone credible i year people that has had a platform and do it respectfully because we got to know how this stuff works man and i think a lot of this stuff is being stirred up because you got a lot of clowns out here then you got a lot of people that just are new to this and want to have a voice and want to be heard and, and i understand it's fun you get on here you got a lot of people that respect some of these guys because they've seen them on other platforms so now they got their own channel and they instantly become kind of famous and they're probably surprised themselves they get on here like wow i got 100 views or a thousand people watching me and liking me and all of this so it's easy to get caught up but we got to be careful still what we do how we say and it's still how we say things because police is watching homie all these people everyone is watching homie and what you say or do can be used against you and that's what's going on a lot of people are saying shit that they got to come back and, and retract or bite their words and all this or some that's prideful don't want to go back and retract their words and now you got beef with people you don't even know homie and guess what the internet is still undefeated so overall we just got to be more careful people with a voice and people who have pages and channels be respectful be be uh, thoughtful and be responsible homie you know what i'm saying in the words of neighborhood nip the marathon continues the shout out to the trades deuces neighborhoods sa brown hispanic asian woods you know what i mean everybody out there man much love respect it's g lu from the g lu show like share subscribe Check us out Sunday nights. Odie's Wolf where it was Sunday. Rated number one with they love. And everything we else got, we got cracking at glushow.com, man. And I just say this to say again, much respect and love to everyone. America Cholo, I got respect for you for that, homie, on, on this play right here. You know what I mean? Much respect. And um, everyone else out there, man, all my homeboys, fellow YouTubers, and everyone, it's all respect. You already know that. The G Lu Show. Shout out to my producer, DD. We out. Peace.